Guys, today's a big day. It's a day that I've been waiting for for a long time, but more importantly, my wife and kids have been waiting for it, and Anton's been waiting for it. It's new yeah. treehouse day. Hans has been waiting for it. Hans has been I waiting for it. I just need to place <laughs> You're not going to play in it, Jim? This is probably going to be a guest house. So, <laughs> next, next kid guarantee. who ends up in the dog house with his wife will end up in the treehouse. There's more time and effort spent on that than at my actual house. I guarantee oh, 100%, it. 100%. Yeah. Dude, 100%. Like more blood, yeah, sweat, and tears have gone into too. that. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about my house. <laughs> you haven't even <laughs> the deck. You haven't even seen the inside. I know, I know. I'm just seeing this right here, and it's ridiculous. So, you guys obviously know Anton. Remember, we went up and cut down a tree at Hans' rental property. I thought it was a cool tree. Didn't have the heart to, to throw it away. Turns out that tree was a Lebanese Bro. cedar or something like imported. that. Imported. Yeah, imported from, like, Germany. Lebanon. <laughs> Lebanon, I think. Oh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I got a message from the previous owner of the house, and they're like, "That Sorry. we planted that tree when I was a baby. That's my favorite tree. So glad to see it going to a good home. So I'm glad we didn't chip it up because I knew there was something special about it. So that is currently concreted in my backyard. Uh, Rob has been working diligently to be able to get everything prepared. You guys remember Rob from Cerro Gordo? Um, basically, the plan now is Anton and Rob have finished up the treehouse. They finished up, up the wraparound deck, which I didn't even know it was getting. And now we have to figure out how to transport it because these are large items. We're talking like bulky, beefy, tall. And obviously, our big issue is stuff like this, power lines. Um, so we're gonna load them up and see how sketchy we can make this load. But first, I'm gonna go see this treehouse. Yeah, let's go see it. So what's rent gonna be like? Right. Like how, how much do I need to pay you? That's uh, I could just stop paying you and you can move in. All right guys, before I reveal to you this absolutely like mind blowing tree house, I got something special for you. You see, I like you guys. Like I like some of you guys even more than friends. Like family, of course, get your mind out of the gutter. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're putting together this thing, this list, okay? This master list of people that we like and people that we want to include on really cool things like giveaways, adventures, experiences, basically all the cool stuff that we do, we wanna give you guys access to it. So here's what I need you to do right now. You ready for this? I need you to text heavy D to 83389. That'll be coming straight to me. I'm gonna put your name on my list. And when these things pop up, like one that we have coming very soon, as in like maybe a few days soon, I'm gonna send you the notification first so you're gonna have first access to literally all of this stuff. Nobody else is gonna know about it before you. And honestly, some of the stuff we are not gonna send to anybody but you. So shoot me a text right now. Let's get connected and uh, party on. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. It's Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Party time. No way. So nothing is straight, level, <laughs> square. Plum. Dude, look at this. Everything's twisted. Dude, it looks like I built it. Look at that, dude. Looks like me and Jim went, went, were trying to build something straight and level. Look at the soft. <laughs> look at the soft <laughs> detail, dude. That I put a lot of time into. It. <laughs> <laughs> is that you, you crazy, dude? Out. You yeah. freaking bent. Yeah. The oh, fascia. Yeah. yeah, dude, we bent the fascia both directions. I, my mind is blown right now. This detail is like. That's, dude, did you see the bird's nest? No, there's a bird's nest up there. Yeah, Where'd the bird's nest come from? A piece of wood you had? Dude, we found it. It was in the milf, the milf shed, dude. We the had milf, it up there. the milf shed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna check out the milf shed. <laughs> used to temp it up in the air, dude. Really? Look at this thing. <laughs> Freaking look at it, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I did not see this coming. I knew it was gonna be cool. Like, it really looks like here. a Disneyland prop. I know. We should have had an extension. Power it up. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, look at this. Dave, Ashley, Charlie, Bo, Mac, and Zion. Got the whole gang. Got all the kids' favorite things, airplanes, monster trucks. It's got a loft. Dude, I am, I am just absolutely. Dude, that's the Snoopy plane, dude. Red Baron, baby. That thing is, is that Snoopy? That's Snoopy flying it too, huh? Yeah, that's the bro does are jumping Snoopy. Oh, that's what's going on. It's jumping the mountain. I yeah. see. Oh, that's awesome. Those mountains were definitely Rob's idea. Yup. <laughs> Dude, that is so sweet. It's got, it's got a, it's got a power box. It has, it has power. We can hook power up to it, dude. It's pretty cool. Well, there's, well there's probably like a washer and dryer in here at some point. 
Lights under the loft. AC and, unit, uh, maybe. You know? AC unit, absolutely. Lights the Dude, Anton, all you. The lights behind the loft. Is that all? Rob knocked oh. it out of the park in here, dude. Dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Holy like shit. This is wow. Dude, the window's even open, bro. I literally am going to have to charge my kids' rent. The window's open. Stop okay. it. Yeah, see how. Oh, shoot. Open, <laughs> <but he's laughs> open. That, one, that one right there opens. No way. Hey, dude, easy. Unreal, guys. Unreal. This is this is so much more than I was expecting. Oh my! Look at that! My kids are gonna lose their damn minds. This is freaking awesome, dude! You killed it, man! Thank you. That's so awesome. My family's gonna—they will go nuts. We're gonna cut that out. And cool. Yeah, after we install this bad boy. But dude, all the walls are still like, we don't want the thing to move as we transport oh, yeah, it. No, so, for sure. Dude, that tin turned out exactly how I dude, hoped. Dude, the tin here and the tin on the roof. Yeah. And dude, that's, we haven't even put the lanterns in the. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do the lanterns. <laughs> the lanterns in the. Oh. So the glass, did you break it? No, we made it look broke. Just it's in the door. It's just layered. So it looks like it's broken. That oh, was actually Garrett's genius. idea, dude. I said, yeah, run with it, man. It turned that's out awesome. Genius. That's all island wood, dude. Shingles we did. Oh, it is. Yeah. Holy, shit, I love that. I know, dude. That that. Looks, oh, I didn't. I didn't even think that about that. So we should probably look at redoing some of the house with that. I was blown away. You know Me those. And Rob you like, know those. Dude, that's so awesome. Rob's like, no, that sucks. No, let's do it, man. I'm <laughs> down. How many plates? <laughs> oh yeah, we should redo the fireplace. Yeah. Any takers? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Dude, yeah, this is, I, I, speechless. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Preparing the Krabby Patty. All right, let's go see the deck. <laughs> yeah, dude, that hot, that hot is pushing the limit as far as my Top out of the front. Oh, I'm sure. Like, it picks it up good, but I was, I think you'll be, be able to do it better with the lift. This one we can set with the lift. That's a bigger deck than my house has. Dude, we gave you a four-foot walkway around the perimeter, dude. Get real. So, here's how this lays out. ADA compliant. <laughs> this will be pointing towards the house. We got left two openings, but uh -huh. we can temporarily fill them in. Yeah. So one is for the slide, one is for the zip line across the pool. <laughs> and then on. that. Hold on. Did you say zip line across the pool? Yeah, yeah that's exactly what you said. And then <clears throat> that opening oh, right there sorry. will be a bridge that goes off onto the rock. Yeah. And then that one is going to the next hut tower that we'll do in the near future, I'm sure. I like it a lot. So. <laughs> Right so right now, top of that handrail is 12. So right now, that measures, Alan, you got your tape handy. I think we're right there, 13, 12, 11, 12, 10. That's probably coming down. That looks like every bit 12. Yeah, so we, but this right here is the width, eight foot. Yeah. And then if we hang it off the deck on that other side, just a little, mm -hmm. you got a oversized load sign. Yep. I might yeah, have one. Silver GMC that's following it. Yeah, yeah we got a pilot yeah, car. Right. Well, and then I'll load this on this trailer and follow too. <laughs> wow. That is. That live edge though, dude. That's amazing. That's like one of my favorite parts. Yeah. And I, I just, I mean, I, you envision it now like you can see it, but like, dude, when it's in the tree. Oh, yeah. 
and it's up there perched. <laughs> it's gonna look so cool, Rob. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, that we're gonna have to. We're gonna need a little extra support than that little stump we got. That's what she said. <laughs> Well, yeah, so we've got these big temps. We'll temp it down to the cement today yep. so we can set everything. And then we wanted to talk, we have a few ideas like uh, doing a, like a, like, you know, your mind, your uh, mind bridge with mm -hmm. the cars, doing some posts and some X's. Yeah. And, you know. I want like a, like a tra like a railroad <laughs> trestle, like the ore cart trestle. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Something of that, Is some that of that nature. Are you going to fit the design? Yeah, you need a new tree. Nah, Dude, tree, I've got, that tree is. Uh, there's not a straight part on that tree. They even put it in crooked, <laughs> so it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, dude, we won't. And we'll keep. We'll continue that trend on down the road, dude. <laughs> is it level? Ah, uh, who needs a level? It's fine. Is, the, is your house even level? Uh, no, hell no. <laughs> dude, this is. I don't. I literally am speechless. Doing doing the metal railing inside the squares yeah, to the, match the yep. the house. So that is nuts. That it's is, dude, it's it's awesome. It so turned out so good. No, but dude, this is this is just the first step. I mean, not the first step, but maybe the second or third. Now we get it up in the tree. Yeah, this is this is what's gonna this. I'll probably end up going bankrupt because I buy too many tree forts. If it does, <laughs> trucks, tractors, toys, airplanes, they didn't get me. Tree 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 forts is what got me. I think it'll go smoothly. Anton, Anton built it. It's gonna run smooth. I'm not worried about it. We might like it's Dave's driving that I'm worried about. Like it's hitting the tree because of Dave's driving. Get a rope so I don't stand underneath and die. Yeah. This is insane. How wide is your neck? Uh, 102, 102 maybe. In between? Total width. In the oh no, that's 29 feet. 29? Yeah. All right, so we're 17 and we might have to put that up on the... That's, no, we should fit. Maybe. Otherwise, that's just going to keep going. Yeah, this way a little bit. There. Set it down. Let's see what it looks like. Go all the way forward. Yeah, that's what we need to do. We that would kick it down a lot. Hey, Anton. Let's get these vertical legs hanging off the side of the trailer. So let's go back like eight inches. Hang them off the yeah, trailer. I think that's going to be the way to go. Here, then? Yep. Down. Come down. I like that better. Do we want to set it on? Oh, whoa, Tom. You're hitting that handrail. There it goes. Yeah, baby. I'm definitely losing my CDL today. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. We're ready to unhook. Yes. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, no, it's not. Are we gonna have enough room here? 
find out. The measure. Uh, first piece is on. The way they built up the, the jig for this thing, the temporary frame, kind of like hugs the trailer perfectly. So we're not even going to any straps, right? What? Straps are good. good. I didn't bring any straps. Yeah, perfect. It's just kind of already hugged itself in there. Yeah, it's it kind of just locks in place. Yeah. Uh, throw, throw a couple of nails in it. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> Some big lag screws. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You know the inside? Yeah. Buddy, mean? I wonder if we can tie it off. You can go closer to this. The wall is that? Like this, you know? It's 12 feet from the edge of the roof. Okay. Cool. So yeah, that should work. That's all. Smoke that thing off 4 feet on both sides. Exactly. We're good. Just, yeah. And this and this side is the. Uh, this is an oncoming traffic or anything. So you're good, dude. <laughs> So we got the deck loaded, no problem. Uh, loading it is, is one thing, transporting it through the city, freeway, winding hills to my house is a completely different story, but it should be good. Yeah, turn to my neighbor, oh, that one sucks. I forgot about that turn, that turn. That turn sucks. There's a turn into my neighborhood that was just not well thought out. It's the worst, and every time I take a semi up there, I rearrange the, the planter box and the rocks and the street signs. So, yeah, we will. When you take the excavator back down, you can just stop real quick and just readjust. Literally, last time I had my telehandler up there, I just stop up there and rearrange everything. So, Max Straps, who we get all of our straps from, custom built me these straps to hold down the bro dozer when we transport it. So, uh, they're like the most overkill strap in the world. They're great, and they hold things like really well. That's a big beefy strap though. It takes a man to work this strap. Or an athletic woman. I don't know what's appropriate to say these days. talking with the full mouth of seeds because that means shit's about to get done. Not a bad drive. Uh, traffic behaved itself. Truck did great. Load stayed on. Kids all know this is happening. They got the heads up, but they're very excited to get home from school. Very excited. The deck is ready to be lifted, right? Yeah, dude. We're going to get the braces back on and strap it up. Up. And then we'll pull it back up to the top. I guess with the Sonia.
starting to make the turn with the excavator. While you're turning with the load way up, turning the excavator starts to bounce, so it's bouncing the load. So we're unhooked him, and give position straight shot with he's coming up here. So he can walk straight up and set it in the position on Got the deck up. Now we're gonna go get the uh, the actual treehouse. Deck came up pretty easy. Treehouse a little bit heavier, so it'll be a little trickier, but we got. Setting it will be a little tricky, but getting it up the hill without breaking anything, hell, getting it all the way from Anton's house without breaking anything was a real challenge. We're here. Sandy, once again, kicking ass. This thing maneuvers like a mini excavator, but it lifts and digs like a big, like, 50,000 pound machine. So, I'm very, very happy with this machine. We're uh, getting our elevation with laser, shooting over, and sometimes the laser is hard to see. You wanna shoot it to me? Treehouse needs on postal code. Treehouse, all in all, probably gonna weigh. I bet you we're, we're pushing 15,000 pounds between the house and the deck. Think it's that heavy? I bet you between the two of them, it's between 10 and 15. I was gonna do a slide from the top into the pool. I think we do the slide from here, like an old railroad or like the old mining trestle. Yeah. Like an old log flume. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be so sick. <laughs> shoot some emails off, wait for the boys to get the, uh, the deck ready to set. Multitasking, it's, it's, I pretend like I'm really good at it, but I think I'm really bad at it. I start a bunch of stuff and then I don't finish anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start another thing here that I probably won't finish, so. Perfect. 
I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut that a little bit. Is that sturdy enough to put a ladder out there? Coming down for sure. <laughs> Gosh. Who built this, dude? Gosh. He's gonna end up at my house in Farmington. Uh, let's do this side. No, I'm just touching this a little bit. So, if you come into the corner, Alan. Gotta go up in. So, we got the deck in place. We got it supported, temporary supports. Now, we're gonna pick up the tree house, which, as you guys have already seen, is quite bulky and heavy. This is the riskiest part because I'm basically maxing out the reach of my machine here, dangling over the rock wall, dangling over the guys working below me. So I got to use a combination of the front blade, the tracks, the rock wall to keep me propped up. It also give me enough kind of um, stability to be able to reach, like maximum reach out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I could use another six inches, but. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. Me all. <laughs> Except for you. Don't laugh. Don't, don't stop at me. <laughs> Puny human. Puny human. <laughs> Um, I think we might want to take some slack out down here too so we can suck it a little bit tighter. So I'll tighten these around both right, sides. So hang that tight real quick. Face the house, yeah. Face the back door. I get speechless. It's insane. It's just so cool. It's so damn big. Right, guys this concludes part two of the fantasy treehouse build now listen there's still a lot of work to do on this bad boy but i'm still 
absolutely blown away by what Anton and his crew were able to do. These guys are incredible, like literally absolute artists. So here's what I need you to do. Down in my description below, you're gonna find a link to the BC Timbers channel. Don't even hesitate, don't ask questions, click it, subscribe to them because they're showing a side of this that we weren't able to show like the full in-depth process and they're gonna show a bunch more as we continue to build more and more, which is gonna come in part three, where we start building bridges, ladders, rope swings, zip lines, slides. Like we're just barely getting started. Getting this here was literally kind of the, getting the tree here, first step, tree house, second step, third step is gonna be all of the accessories. And then obviously I gotta landscape in my backyard too. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below and let me know what your fantasy tree house would look like. Would it be like a mine shaft? Would it be contemporary, modern, farmhouse, whatever it be? I'm seriously curious what it would look like. So guys, with that said, thank you for joining us today and uh, why don't you get the hell out of here? Let's go see. Here, you wanna bring him up the bridge, dude? He's gonna come up the ladder like a man. Okay. There's a board in the way. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the board there. <laughs> I need some threes. Good job, Bo. Good job, Bo. Peekaboo! Who is it? Oh, bad boy? No way. Who is it? Grandma? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna let people in. And then look. Okay. Wanna see something cool? Still wanna pull on it and then. So. I think we're gonna make a slide into the pool from over here. There's gonna be a bridge to the upstairs or to the upper yard here. Well, there is a bridge. Like a rope bridge. And then over there, Carson's gonna build another treehouse. And he's gonna make a bridge over to it, too.